Hello everyone, welcome to our next video. In this video, we see how to calculate TDS deduction on salary. As in the previous video, we have already seen the tax lab, what is TDS and the tax lab of the deduction in a new SGM and old SGM board. So let's move into the Excel sheet and see the how to do calculation of TDS. So as you can see, we have a both calculation old regime and also in the new regime. So first is a salary per annum of employee is 12 lakh. If he has a HRA, he getting HRA. So HRA deduction also I have shown the HRA how to calculate HRA. You can see in the previous video. Standard deduction is 50,000, which is fixed by the government. PT is a professional tax is also if you're getting a if you uh, if your employer minus the PT pro, pay professional tax from yourself then you get a professional tax exemption also in the TDS in some company there is no PT tax professional tax in some company the company deducts the professional tax and its tax uh, reason is uh, Exemption is 2,500. If you have an income from house property, then income from house property, interest on any, you have paying any interest on house loan, then you have to calculate the interest on house loan. If there is any reduction of ATCC, your employees investing in any investment in an ATCC or ATCCD or like a LIC medical claim or in a PF, ELSS, then you have to mention also this that are uh, that are uh, in the investment plans is a, is a LIC, ELS, PF, medical claim. They are a medical insurance. They are a there is a limit of the exemption. That exemption limit is one lakh fifty thousand. More than one lakh fifty thousand, you will not get the exemption in your salary. So. There is an investment in a salary by the employee is one lakh like LIC in ELS PF investment. There is house loan repayment investment. So I've written that, but is a total investment is more than one lakh fifty thousand, which is set by the government. So he will get only eligible for the deduction is one lakh fifty thousand. So it will be net taxable income. So how we'll calculate net taxable income? Salary minus HRA, standard deduction, PT, plus house rent in income, minus interest on housing loan, minus minus total eligible deduction is equals to net taxable income. Now we will calculate income tax payable according to the tax slab. Now see the tax slab. This is our old tax regime of income tax slab. As you can see up to 2,50,000 it will be nil. More than two uh, two lakh fifty thousand to five lakh three uh, five lakh it will be a five percent five lakh to ten lakh is twenty percent and above ten lakh is thirty percent. So we can see income taxable as you can see the formula. If C two means net taxable income is greater than lakh ten lakh then net taxable income minus 10 lakh into 0 0.3 means 30 percent plus 1 lakh 12,500 1 lakh 12,500 how to be calculate so let's let's go and i will show you that see 12 lakh 50,000 is nil after that 12 lakh 50,000 Ever twelve lakh uh, two lakh fifty thousand is nil. Ever two lakh fifty thousand to three lakh is uh, five lakh is ten percent. So calculate two lakh 
two lakh fifty thousand into five percent, two lakh twelve thousand five hundred. If five lakh to ten lakh is twenty percent, then calculate five lakh into twenty percent. Okay. Then total will be. As you can see, one lakh twelve thousand five hundred. So, in this, so as for that is one lakh twelve thousand five hundred. Okay. Comma. If C two is greater than five lakh, then it will be net taxable income minus five lakh into zero point two percent. Plus two twelve thousand five hundred. As you can see, twelve thousand five hundred. How do we get twelve thousand five hundred? If the net taxable income is greater than two lakh fifty thousand, then net taxable income minus two lakh fifty thousand into zero point zero five percent. We will get our net taxable income. Let's. I will show you this in the manually also. As I put formula together, I show. I also show you calculation manually. Okay. First, our net taxable income is ten lakh thirteen thousand five hundred. In that, in that two lakh fifty thousand, we have no need to be pay tax. So. Minus two lakh fifty thousand. Rest amount is seven lakh sixty three thousand five hundred. In that you have to pay two lakh only two lakh fifty thousand. Then into five percent, we get twelve thousand five hundred. Means minus in this two lakh fifty thousand. Now our Amount rest amount is five lakh thirteen thousand five hundred. In that also we will not calculate all five lakh thirteen thousand five hundred. We will only calculate on five lakh is ten percent. Sorry, five lakh in sorry five lakh is a twenty percent. Is one lakh now minus this two five lakh now rest amount is thirteen thousand five hundred in thirteen thousand five hundred is equals into thirty percent now you can see plus twelve thousand five hundred one lakh. Plus for four thousand fifty, we get one lakh sixteen thousand five hundred income tax paid need to be paid for whole whole financial year. I hope you have understand that you no need to be calculate your taxable income directly on ten thousand three or thirteen hundred in a net taxable pay income. You have to first calculate on two lakh fifty thousand. If you first minus two lakh fifty thousand. It will be a need, so there is no tax. First, you have to minus two lakh fifty thousand. After that, then you don't calculate whatever amount. If it is greater than five lakh, then you have to calculate on two lakh fifty thousand into five percent. After that, the if minus that, if you get the amount is again is more than ten lakh. Then you have to calculate on five lakh into twenty percent, and minus that amount, you will the rest amount will be calculated on the thirty percent. After the calculation, you have to adjust tax. If there is any revert, then you can calculate the revert. Yeah, there is one more thing I have to tell you. If your income is a five lakh, means. Means I will show you if there is any in employee income is a six lakh. 
he is not getting hra from the company there is no investment of him just he has invested on a pf so his uh, stand total eligible deduction will be 21600 so his taxable will be different as i can show this also first 250000 there is no tax as you can see it is after 250000 it will be a 275900 then we will calculate on 275900 into 5% so um, in this it is more than 250000 so we will we'll again minus 250000 and it will be calculate on that it is 20% and before that it is 1 lakh 12 to 12500 in our of uh, 5% of 2 lakh 50000 plus we get 17680 okay if your income salary is 5 lakh 50000 and 5 lakh 50000 then you will get a rebirth there is if you have a if your company did a tds on that you will get rebirth at the time of filing income tax return so if your income is income is great um, if your net payable is a smaller than 5 lakh 5 lakh uh, one then it will be no tax will be deduct on Miss, if you have income is five lakh, then you will get a reward on the tax. Okay. If you have a more than five lakh, and then you have to be if your net taxable income is more than five lakh, then you have to pay tax. If it is less than five lakh, then there is a income tax return. It will be revertable. Miss. Twelve thousand five hundred up to twelve thousand five hundred, you will get a reward back. Okay. Now we back to our calculation. So after adjust tax, if there is any reward, if you if your company is pay more than the more tax. then your eligibility tax you can get a reward on that also when you file the income tax at for that financial year you will get the reward so at that time also we can adjust that reward we calculate that reward then after adjust tax there is a cess which is a 4% of adjust tax means your income uh, income tax payable it is 4% of your income tax payable or you can say if there is any reward then adjust tax whatever the adjust tax is there in that it is will be a 4% after that have to calculate add adjust tax plus cess it equals to your total taxable tax you have to pay on your income as you can see our total tax is One lakh twenty one thousand two hundred twelve rupees. So TDS per month for April month I am calculating. So April month, whatever the tax for financial year divided by twelve, you will get per month TDS which will be deducted from your salary every month and deposit to the income tax department by your employer. If we are came. for new tax regime if we employee want to 
change in a new tax is in same salary will be 12 lakh standard deduction for 50000 there is no other deduction will be get if you have investment in a interest on housing loan if you have any investment you will not get any deduction in the new regime you have just get a deduction of standard deduction uh, other than deduction will be you we will not get any deduction in new regime so is after deduction of standard deduction he get 11 lakh 50000 so net taxable income is 70000 i will show the new tax lab also so for new tax regime income tax lab is up to 3 lakh is need 3 lakh to 6 lakh 5 percent 6 lakh to 9 lakh 10 percent 9 lakh to 12 lakh is 15 percent and 12 to 15 lakh is 20 percent or ever 15 lakh if there is a salary then it is will be 30 percent so same here also g2 means net taxable income is greater than 6 lakh then it will be one ten percent plus fifteen thousand. As I mentioned in a old tax regime, same calculation is also done for the new tax regime. Only tax slab will be changed. So as you can see the calculation. After that, we get that in income taxable pay is seventy thousand and. In that space, also calculate is four percent of your adjust tax. After that, you can calculate per month tax which employee need to be paid on their salary for per month. You can, as you can see, this is the calculation of TDS. I hope you have understood the calculation of tds if you have any question or doubt you can mail us info at direct skill anything.com or contact in this number thank you everyone for watching this video